Since the early 2000s, there have been hotspots of kidney disease across the world. They are primarily in farm working communities. Specific areas include Central America, Nicaragua, Guatemala, El Salvador, southern tip of Mexico as well, and then a small area in India called Udanam. And a third area, which is where I work, is in Sri Lanka. We have recognized that perhaps the Central Valley of California is also a hotspot of this undetermined kidney disease called CKDU. One of the hypotheses around the cause of this disease is strenuous work in warming temperatures. In general, people have thought that end-stage kidney disease disproportionately affects urban areas with poverty. So it was surprising to see a large contiguous area of the U.S. having such a high incidence of end-stage kidney disease in the Central Valley. The two regions we're working with are a central region in Sri Lanka. We are working with a community that is known to have a lot of kidney disease. They're willing to participate because they want to understand what's happening in their community. We don't know what that place really looked like when they were growing up because we don't have historic data. When we shift our work to California, we definitely have great statewide repositories that we can rely on that can tell us, based on an individual's life history of where they've lived in California, um, what kinds of exposures they've had. I work with Dr. Stucci and Ant in a project called Chronic Kidney Disease of Monomial Etiology. That's why I'm actually here in Clovis Community College presenting my project. We are trying to identify why there's so much kidney disease in the area of Central Valley. It's very important the connection that we develop with the patients, being able to interview, get their stories. Through this process of being a research assistant and working in these clinics, I learned a lot about these different patients' stories. I've also learned a lot about how the Hispanic community approaches healthcare. To be able to communicate to these patients, to be able to reach out to them, um, to give them a bit of trust in the healthcare system is something that influences me. We met this young man who um, was in the earliest shift of dialysis, had to leave but stayed to answer our questions. Um, and you know, when we were asking him where he lived, you know, he didn't really have an address because he lived in a dormitory with um, you know 20 other farm workers. He had kidney disease for reasons I don't know. So that really um, motivated me to keep going with this study, um, to try to get more uh, stories like him captured on paper in a way that we can analyze and try to link to potential causes. It's a big team effort. All of my work cannot occur without their support.